Hello and welcome to Storybook Azeroth, where we take a narrative journey through some of the greatest stories in World of Warcraft. Today, we'll be riding to the aid of the valiant crusader Brittenbrad in the frozen wastes of Icecrown. Perhaps you've heard the praises for our missing hero. Crusader Brittenbrad was on the broken front, aiding the attack against the Scourge when the undead army came down upon them. The many men of that allied force scattered, but... Brittenbrad alone returned and dragged more than a dozen men to safety, one by one, through the carnage. Death Knight, he has not returned since. He was spotted heading to the far northeast, toward the Silent Vigil. Bring him back to me that I might honor him for his valor. Beck, careful. The plague has gripped me, and I'll not see it spread to you nor anyone else. I know why you've come. They've sent you to bring me back, but that cannot happen. I carry the plague of undeath, Death Knight. I'll not share my fate with those near me. No, I shall stay here. My only regret lies in what I may become when the death grips me. I do not fear death itself, but I loathe to consider serving that traitor, Arthas. Leave me and see to it that no one else comes looking. You would do me a great disservice if you were to expose anyone to the plague that I carry. Brittenbrad has contracted the plague? I cannot imagine a worse fate for one who has devoted his life to the ways of the light, nor can I fathom leaving him to die without lifting a finger to help. No, undeath shall not be his fate. We shall find a way to aid this hero. There are those in this world that tap into power unrestricted by the bounds of our mortal frames. Powers of restoration, powers of life, powers of light. And Brittenbrad, this is no ordinary man. His valor and devotion shine through. We can only hope that one of these beings will intervene and bring this hero back from a fate worse than death. Go now and speak to Archdruid Liliandra in the Ardent Vanguard, and request passage to the Moonglade to seek the aid of Keeper Remulos. It is always a pleasure to meet heroes such as yourself in this forsaken land. Is there some form of assistance that I can offer you? It is a pleasure to meet you as well, Archdruid. I am on a task from Tyrion, and time is short. Might I trouble you for a portal to Moonglade? Hello, child. I understand Tyrion's request and trust his judgment. We will see what we can do for this crusader Brittenbrad. What you ask is no simple task. The Scourge are not of this world, and many have failed in attempting to strip their corruption over the years. In a being of nobility and light, not all is without hope. What we need exists only in the Emerald Dream acorns that are infused with a powerful restorative magic. Many places in this sacred glade are closely tied with the dream, and my shrine is among them. I will send you into the dream to recover some of these acorns. Be prepared though, Death Knight, for this method of entering the dream is dangerous, and very likely you will be beset by nightmares. Recover a few acorns quickly, then depart from my shrine, or pinch yourself to return to our world. Welcome back to the waking world, child. It is good to see that you are safe. Have you recovered the acorns? Excellent work, young one. I shall open a portal to take you back to the druid that brought you here. You and your crusader have my well wishes. I hope this acorn is able to purify your crusader and save him from the wretched fate of the plague. Farewell, Night Elf. Well met, Death Knight. 
I knew you would return, despite my warnings, but I am pleased that you heeded my desire to not risk anyone else. Why have you come back to me? Tyrion sent you to Remulos? I'm... I'm flattered. One does not call in favors with beings of such power idly, no matter how noble or altruistic they might be. You are too kind to have gone to such lengths on my behalf. You have my thanks. Plant the seed. I am ready. I feel refreshed, renewed, but the plague still grips me. Not to worry. I am still eternally grateful that you went to such lengths for me, a complete stranger. If nothing else, you've brought me a few more precious hours, not plaguing the world as a hideous undead. Thank you, Death Knight. Please extend my thanks to Tyrion as well, and let him know it has been an honor to serve beside him. It saddens me to hear that it did not work. No reason to fret, though. I have met other beings of good that may still be of aid to us. The Dragon Queen Alexstrasza possesses magics over all life. In the past, she has used great fire to incinerate undead and rebirth fresh new life in their place. Perhaps her powers might be able to save our Britain brand as well. Alexstrasza makes her home at the Wormrest Temple in Dragonblight. Please go to her and humbly request her aid on my behalf. Greetings to you, Night Elf. The concern is clear on your face. Please tell me what troubles you. In this dark time, I'll not be the one to abandon a champion of the light. We will need something sacred for this to have a hope of saving your Brittenbrand, a remnant of a devout being that fell victim to this very same plague. Go now to the sacred soil of the passages outside my ruby dragon shrine where the battle is joined, as my ruby keepers fly down and set flame to the ground beneath undead feet, you will witness new life grow forth. Among that life are Dahlia's tears. Bring them to me. Ah, dear Dahlia, I do miss you so. With Dahlia's tears and ancient magic, I fashion you some small amount of hope for your great crusader. You have returned yet again, Death Knight. Why do you risk yourself so? The breath of Alex Straza. You have gone to the Dragon Queen herself? I am extremely grateful. I understand the risks of such a cleansing, and I am prepared. Proceed, Death Knight. Brittenbrand raises a hand to you as he catches his breath. It was nearly as painful as it looked, but it was as if I could feel some of the corruption being burnt away from within my body. It seems the plague is not so readily bested, though. Death Knight, thank you for everything that you have done. Your selfless actions have renewed my hope that there is yet great good left in this world. I can depart without fear that darkness will prevail in my absence. Go now. Go with no regrets. The Scourge Plague is no simple foe to defeat. Alex Straza's words suggest that we can yet save our Britain brand from an unimaginable fate of the unliving should he fall, but I will not give up on him so easily. There is yet one more path of light I would like to pursue, one more being who might avert this horrible fate. I appreciate everything that you have done for us, Frostbite. I have one last errand for you. One last gleaming hope for a paladin who deserves any salvation that we can extend. Go now to Shatrath and speak to the Naru Adal. He has long been a beacon of light and a powerful ally to devout paladins. 
impart Brittenbrand's story, and seek any aid that he might have to offer. I cannot impress how important it is that you move quickly. I fear our crusader does not have much more time in this world. Hale, I could not help but overhear your conversation. Please allow me to lend some assistance. A gentle ringing fills your head as you approach the Naru. I know why you have come. I am pleased that you have come to me, Frostbite. I know of Crusader Brittenbrand and of your travels in hope of saving him. Brittenbrand's valor has sparked remarkable selflessness in you, and this is a miracle unto itself. The light will take care of its own. I will extend my blessing to Brittenbrand and he shall not endure the corruption of undeath. I shall return you to Dalaran, and you shall return to him. Know that I remain with you. As you approach Crusader Brittenbrand, you cannot help but notice that his skin has taken on a pale hue and his breaths are shallow. It is clear that he has little time left. You have returned to me, Death Knight. I must admit, it is good to see you again. Your face renews my hope that this land will be free of Arthas's grasp one day soon. I am proud to have met you. Britain Brad's words trail off, a dim smile on his face. As life seems to slip from him, a gentle ringing fills your ears. Fear not, young one, for this crusader shall not taste death. In life, Brittenbrand was a bearer of great deeds. Now, in passing, he shall taste only paradise. The light does not abandon its champion. Crusader Brittenbrand's tabard rests in the bottom of the chest, shifting slightly as the howling wind finds its way in. Tyrion will desire this last remnant of the Great Crusader. He has departed, hasn't he? I felt a small bit of light leave the land. I am glad you were able to save him from undeath. With Adol's blessing, he will know no evil in his afterlife. We shall take heart in his shining example and in your selflessness. Thank you for all that you have done. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this adventure, please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future ones. And let me know in the comments what stories and questlines you might like to see in the future. Safe travels, and may a loon guide your path.